In this quick tutorial, I want to show you how to realistically apply lipstick to a model or to a portrait photo. So this is the before and this is the after. Now I'm going to hit delete because we're going to start from scratch and you can see on the right side that this picture comes from Pexels. Now if you want to get access to the number one resources for photo editing, then make sure to check out the link down below. I've got a massive, massive list including stock photos, PNGs, textures, icons that you can download all for free. So if you're interested, check out the link down below. All right. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to add a fill layer. So we're going to go up to our layers menu and then we click on new fill layer. Now you want to make sure that this fill layer is going to be red. So on the top right here, you see my color panel and the U is already set to zero. So all I have to do is drag the saturation up and um, drag the luminosity down to around 50%. This is the most bright and vibrant color of red. So what we want to do as a next step is to set this to blend mode multiply. And now we want to invert the layer mask of our fill layer. So I'm going to press command I on the keyboard and this actually inverts the layer mask. Now, because we've got an inverted layer mask, this means that we can actually paint back the effect wherever we want. So if I'm going to press B on the keyboard to select my brush tool and I want to make sure my foreground color is set to black and white, um, so I'm going to press X on the keyboard and once I paint in right now, you can see that I'm painting in with red. Now you might be wondering, you said black and white, but I see red as a foreground color. This is because Affinity Photo is clever enough to know that if I paint in with white, the color that will come out is actually red. So this might be a little confusing. This got me a few times in the very beginning as well, um, but that is basically how it works. So now I'm just going to zoom in a whole lot and I'm going to focus on her lips and I'm just gonna paint over her lips wherever I want the lipstick to be applied and obviously I'm not a professional lipstick um, applier let's say because um, yeah I don't really use lipstick in real so I'm not gonna do this perfectly like I don't really know how to do this but this is basically how to do it digitally so I'm gonna zoom out well let's fix this one a little bit like so I'm going to zoom out by press command, pressing command zero. And what you want to do as a last step, and that, this will make it really realistic. And that is you want to apply blend options. So that is this cogwheel in the uh, layers panel. So click on it and then you get this dialog box. Now you want to make sure you focus on the underlying composition ranges. And on the left side, you have the shadows and on the right side, you have got the highlights. And we want to make sure to remove the effect from the highlights. So what we're going to do is drag this one down and a little bit to the right, uh, sorry, to the left. And to make the uh, lipstick more vibrant, what we can do is move this slider to the right. And this actually uh, makes sure that the uh, darker colors are going to be changed to red and the brighter colors are going to be set to um, yeah the original color. So this is the before and this is the after. And that is how to apply realistic lipstick. Make sure to check out the link down below if you want to get access to the number one resources for photo editors. And I would love to see you in the next video. Bye bye.